Okay, guys, thanks for giving it a try to Skype this lesson. Obviously, that didn't work out so well. This is a very quick video tutorial on how to get started in Inspiration. Many of you um, already seem to know how to get started. So your assignment is to go ahead and do a concept map on the neuron on what you learned from Dr. Christini's lecture. However, um, this is a non-graded exercise. Therefore, do not get... Um, in depth or detail about this. This really shouldn't take you more than an hour to sit down and do this at the most. This is not meant to be a paper. It's not meant to be a huge uh, research type project. It's simply meant to take the information you learned and map it out in a concept map. Here on my screen I've got Inspiration running and I have um, as always with Inspiration uh, a choice of a couple different options but Diagram is the one we want to use. In addition to that, it really doesn't matter which version of Inspiration you use because you are going to print this diagram and bring it in. So if you're using Kidspiration, that's fine. If you're using an older version of Inspiration, that's fine. I've chosen to download the latest and greatest version of the product and that's what I'm looking at here on my screen. So if you're um, looking at the latest and greatest, this is what you would expect as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Diagram. Every uh, concept map starts out with a main idea and notice that I can just move these bubbles around by simply clicking and dragging them. In addition I can also click into the clear space and have my crosshairs or cursor move wherever I've clicked. But the objective of this program is to click on an idea here and come up to this create button and notice that as I highlight on the create spokes on the little different uh, nod, uh, nodules there that they light up in turn. So if I were to click on this particular one, I would get a bubble shooting out in that same direction. However, the directions really don't matter because once the bubble exists, you can just click and drag it in any direction that you want. So it does not matter which direction you truly use in terms of the creation wheel up here, but just um, dragging it around whichever direction you would like to go. Okay. Now, in order to create another subtopic, let me go ahead and give this one uh, uh, a thought of idea. I must have my caps lock on, sorry. Idea one. <clears throat> in order to create a subtopic from idea one, I would click on the button and then go up and click on my create. But if I wanted to go back and create another idea from the main concept, I'd click on the main concept here and then click on the button uh, to create it. The concept here being that whichever bubble I want an idea shooting out of, that's the bubble I need to be clicked into. So if I want an idea shooting out of this bubble, I need to be clicked here before I click on create. If I want an idea shooting out from this bubble, I need to be clicked onto it before I click on create. No matter what you do, you can always delete an object. To delete a bubble, the only one you cannot delete is the main idea. To delete an object, you simply click on it one time on your keyboard and hit delete on your keyboard and that erases it. I'm going to go ahead and um, once again put in another main idea here and I'm going to call that idea 2. Now, in terms of what your assignment is for this particular week, again, non-graded, not to worry about the uh, depth and scope of your, of your information. Simply go through your notes and try to put in what you believe were the, the salient points that Dr. Christine, Dr. Christine was making in reference to the neuron. Now, um, if you want to refresh and or get a different perspective of understanding, a great website is the Chudler Science Neuroscience for Kids. That can be found at faculty.washington.edu forward slash Chudler, and that is spelled C-H-U-D-L-E-R. Um, but again, this isn't meant to be a research exercise, so you don't need to uh, feel as if you need to go out and do that. Um, if I were to take a look at that particular assignment, I'm just going to move these bubbles over here to the side and I'm going to paste some bubbles that I have previously made. If I were to think about the neuron, perhaps the things that struck would strike me most important in that lecture were 
perhaps to discuss the different parts of the neuron, or perhaps Dr. Cristini spoke about the chemical reactions, or perhaps she spoke of function. So whatever she spoke about in lecture, you're going to basically do a concept map of it here. So if, for example, you wanted to do a diagram of the parts of the neuron, you might, uh, again, set something up like this, and then you might click out here into the um, general area, you can drag another symbol from your symbol palette, which is this piece right here, over to your uh, map, double click into it, and perhaps you would want to start with the cell body as the heart and soul of the neuron. And from this cell body, perhaps you would want to um, get into diagramming with some very specific drawing tools. So you can use symbols over here, but you can also come down to the bottom and click on the um, drop-down arrow where the uh, squiggly line is, and notice that you've got a freeform line here. And maybe these freeform lines would be good to draw little dendrites coming out of the cell body. And so those kinds of things can come in there. And then you can come over to your <clears throat> symbol palette and drag a text box out here and label those dendrites if you wanted to. <clears throat> Another thing you could do is once again click on clicking on the cell body, you could create a sub bubble going out in this direction. And perhaps this would be the synaptic um, terminal. And this line in between could potentially be the um, axon, all right? So you could label it by either uh, creating another text box here and label that as an axon, or you can actually write directly on the line, just like we can double click into a uh, bubble and type in information. We can also double click on a line and type in information there as well. Okay, I'm going to stop in terms of giving you more samples. There are a lot of things you can do. Again, I apologize that the technology didn't quite work for us this week, but thank you for trying your best. Um, for those of you who are familiar with um, inspiration, go ahead and try to do this exercise this week. For the, uh, the few of you who were not as familiar with inspiration, take a look at this video and see if you can uh, try to struggle your way through it. Remember, for everybody, all you need to do is print the diagram and bring it in. If for some reason you really don't feel comfortable with this very, very short introduction, that's fine. We can always, um, always catch up on it next week. We will be reviewing inspiration in class together, so not to worry. You will get a full introduction to it and a full uh, rundown of all the pieces. I will talk to you later. Email me if you need to. Thanks. Bye-bye.